Hey, check and I'll see on the head using the straight edge. Okay. And I'll feel the blade. A couple of things when you're putting it on. You want this to be clean first. And try it in the different angles. Just try that again. I forgot that I've got a microphone. You'll be hearing me better now. Checking the cylinder head with a straight edge, different angles, go diagonally across the center. And these things now are so cheap to buy from like Amazon and eBay. It's not worth trying to do it with something else like a steel ruler or. Uh, Whatever else, the spirit level when you can buy the real thing cheap enough. Feel the blades. This one I've already measured it and I can fit a one foul under it. It's not terrible. That's at the worst place. Let me show you. So that just about there. It just slides through. That's the worst place that it's got. But I'm going to clean this up. Another thing I want to show you. Just quickly I'll show you how you can see the light through here. Just at the bottom. You can see the light just peeping through. That's what you would see in a workshop if you were using a flashlight on the other side of it. But here, as you can see, the sun's that bright today. You can use that. Instead of using nature. Now I'm going to clean it up. The pad, sanding pad, a piece of emery paper. Just put that in there. Of course, if you wanted, you could get this all done at a machine shop properly. This is just giving it a quick clean. This is what we used to do more when I was starting off. You can take cylinder heads to machine shops, but now it's pretty standard. You just send it away and get it back properly checked, pressure checked as well. Slightly rubbing to get the worst of the old gasket material out. Certainly not trying to skim it with this and just cleaning it out. That camera's bobbling about making you see that clutch, you know. I'll just clean it up and show you the end. I think this will be okay to go back on.